Next we have the diff, ring gear, and diff bearings. I think there's 10, 10 ring bolt gears. Install these bolts. On some transmissions, depending which one you have, there will be a speed gear here where you have to tip, press it off the old diff and then press it on here. But since this is a Z3 style where it has a speed sensor that reads off the third gear, you don't need a speed gear in here. There's no speed sensor in the back, it's only on the front. All right, let me get this all torqued down, put these bearings in, and then I will explain how to shim the diff and the main shaft at the same time. Now that I have the ring gear on and the bearings, I'm gonna install it in the case. So when I assemble this, I'm gonna be checking for clearance in between the top of this bearing and the inner part of this case. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a shim in here. So basically stick a feeler gauge in between here, which goes in between this shim right here and this. And then there's also another shim on this one, which is on top of here. But the way you check that is through the other side, you'll see once I get it all together. This case is a little messed up from a previous breaking, so it might be a little tough to get on. But let's see how it goes. Pins a little chewed up, that's why it's going on a little rough. We'll take a couple bolts. One here, one here, one here. That should work. Diff. diff seems like it spins pretty free, so I'll assume it's loose. I'm gonna grab a couple feeler gauges.
see what the smallest size I have on here is. I think the spec is between zero and four thousandths. On here, the smallest I have is six thousandths. Let's see if six will fit. Yeah, six thousandths will fit. So you know that this this shim is too thin. Let's see how thick we can go. I believe this is seven seven thousandths. Seven thousandths fit, but it's tight. Let's see if we get an eight thousandths in there. Eight thousand fits. Let's try nine thousand. Yeah, nine thousand fits too. Let's see if eleven will fit. Doesn't seem like 11 thousandths will fit. So we'll assume it's nine to 10 thousandths. And spec is zero to four thousandths. So we need a shim that's six to, the, six to eight or nine thousandths thick. So that's for the diff. Next is gonna be for the main shaft. One sign, you can tell, see how it spins. It spins pretty loose, which is a good starting point. off this throat bearing. We're gonna go to hydraulic throat bearing so we won't need this. Let me figure out where the other piece is. this put that there I don't know what I was using this on last but maybe it just got moved set this up here Let's zero this out or get it close to it. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. You can kind of see it. Basically, it's set to zero right now.
The spec for this, you want it between four and seven thousandths. See what we, what we get. That's almost five thousands right there. Let's back it off. Seems very close to four. Let me just double check it. All right, that's our four thousandths right there, or that's at zero. Let's try this again. Almost at three thousand. Seems like it's just three thousand. It's like a little bit too tight. All right, let me take it back apart, measure some shims, put it back together, and try it again. All right, so I got some more shims. Now I'm gonna check it again. For here, for the main shaft, we want four to seven thousandths. The shim I had in here previously was three thousandths. So I got one that's, that was a few thousandths thinner. Right now it's at zero. It's almost five thousandths, six thousandths. All right, yeah. Six thousandths is the clearance, which is right in spec. As far as the diff shim, Clearance on that, I believe, is zero to four thousandths. And I had a shim in there that was 57, 58 thousandths. And I replaced it with a shim that was 65 thousandths, which should get us in that 65, that's what seven thousandths. So we should be around between zero and two thousandths on the diff. And you can see the diff still spins free.